right guys, how's it going? Pitch Kanker here, and we're gonna do a video on inspiration and how I stay inspired to draw every single day. So, like any piece of artwork, I need to have something. I need to have a spark before I can create it. And so, what I'm thinking today is that I'm going to draw how I'm feeling, or like a feeling I've had recently. And I was feeling a little sad earlier. You know, we get these feelings. Uh, we live in a, a world that's pretty horrific on some level. And so I'm gonna draw a sad eye. I'm gonna draw something that I think will help me relieve this feeling. And I think that's something people don't talk about, is that, you know, inspiration can come from anywhere, right? But it's really going to come from the pit of your soul, right? Like, let's talk about it. Some people will call it cringe, some people will call it whatever. It's not. It is what it is, you know? You can find inspiration by going on Pinterest as well, or like, you know, Google search. But ultimately, you know, what do you know better than yourself? Not much, you know? Like, see yourself from the outside and see like, oh, is this... Is this what I look like? Like art to me is like a critical evaluation of yourself, right? And so when I'm trying to get inspired, I'm looking at myself, I'm looking at my daily activities. I, you know, I draw a lot of really extreme kind of horrific artwork, but you know, a lot of that has uh, itself rooted in my own emotions. And you know, if I'm feeling really sad, maybe I'm not this sad, maybe I'm not as sad as like this piece is giving off. Like I'm drawing the sad eye. It was just the first thing I thought of. I'm like, you know, I thought of the shape, thought of kind of like a downward stare kind of like this small piercing glance, but that's just, you know, how I was feeling. Inspiration is everywhere, and inspiration comes from how you're feeling in your day-to-day -day life. And it's unfortunate that I feel like um, a lot of art is neutered online because um, it gets made fun of. I mean, I in my own posts all the time, I have people taking the piss, and that's okay, you know? I Like, how can you blame somebody for looking at your work and being like, oh, wow, man, like, so I think it's a little over the top. Like, I'm a realistic person. On some level, I do understand that. But it's art, you know, you're creating something that speaks to someone's soul. And it's like a connection to your own soul, right? So when I'm trying to get inspired, I just examine how I'm feeling. I was feeling sad today, right? Or if I was thinking about, you know, um, the, like dying or, or something like that, like something really morbid, maybe I draw a skeleton. Maybe I draw things that I fear personally. I think that every artist should try and pull from their own experiences in life and that is such a powerful inspiration that I feel like uh, can be underutilized. Um, even talking about it now, this piece is coming out great, you know? I'm really just expressing these kind of feelings of, of, of wanting to connect with others, right? And like, what does that feel like? What does that look like? And draw that automatically. Start drawing that without thinking about it. What does that look like to you? You know, don't be as concerned with how it may look to others. Um, and you'll find inspiration. You know, some people love nature and they just, you know, it's a big part of their life and their personality. Um, that could be an inspiration. And inspiration is just anything that gets you going, you know. Um, I might read an article about something or like, uh, you know, let's actually, let's really quickly, we'll go to a piece I did recently, right? Um, I was reading about just like bodybuilding and like how bodies are shaped and formed and like the different muscles. And I started drawing this piece right here, right? That to me was an easy transition. Like this is how it originally looked. And then I started getting feelings of like rage and anger and like the piece ends up inspiring itself at a certain point, you know, because I was like, well, I can do this guy lifting weights, but it takes away from this feeling of rage and like kind of like aggression I'm feeling. And I, I, I fed more into that. You almost have to feed into your feelings as you're drawing, right? Um, let's say I was trying to get inspired for this piece right here. I just went in thinking like, I'm going to draw a faceless person and it evolves as you go, right? You add more things, you make it a little bit scarier, you make it, you know, less scary. You could draw beautiful things like, you know, beautiful things. The reason you see so many beautiful paintings are so many people are inspired by beauty um, because it's just something that aligns with their soul. I mean, ultimately I love beautiful things too. I'm just not as good in my opinion at making them, right? I have a talent for drawing really horrific things and um, expressing emotions um, I think is my strongest suit. Like I'm a very emotional artist and I'm not afraid to show it. You know, I, I've had times, like I remember when I was first trying to show off my art, my partner tried to um, put my work on Imgur and I got like 2000 downvotes and people being like, there's something wrong with your boyfriend. Like, you know, uh, they should see a mental doctor basically. And that's, man, that broke my heart. I was like, you know, I had maybe a thousand followers on Instagram and I was like, I'm not made for this internet stuff. You know, I didn't really even have a phone until I was like 26 didn't like the internet, didn't like being on the internet, you know, and that really solidified it. And I was like, I'm never going to make art that means something to people. I'm never going to be one of these famous online artists. And, you know, uh, maybe it's just mental illness, but I never stopped. I still did. I, even, you know, despite different, um, you know, uh, I guess verbal abuses, I just kept going with it. And then I found uh, people who enjoyed what I was inspired by, 
which is what's important, right? It, it's less about being inspired by certain things and more about understanding that what inspires you is is going to also inspire somebody else. And that's where you connect with others, right? And that's such an important thing. And yeah, that's just those are just my thoughts on inspiration in general. It's hard to pinpoint it. I get asked all the time, you know, what's your inspiration? What 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 drives you to create like you do? And it's just everything. It's just how I view the world. It is not a single thing. It is many things that, um, you know, life is inspiring on some level. I love, I, I see beautiful things and I want to create them. I see horrific things and I want to create them. I think it's more about having this drive to create than anything, right? Because um, without that drive, you're just never going to want to make something. I think that inspiration on some level is also kind of like overblown, right? Like I just decide to draw every day. That is my decision. It doesn't matter if I have inspiration. Inspiration comes because I have willed it into existence. And that's what's important. Um, I think people overvalue that spark you need. You know what I mean? Like the thing that helps you get through it. But like, you know, you just got to go. You start and then you begin to feed your inspiration. You're like giving it food. Like what is inspiration without nourishment, right? Like does it matter that you have this great idea if you don't have the skill set to do it? That'll actually destroy your motivation to create right so you have to practice these skill sets you have to practice these things and like you know try and teach yourself and you know or or learn from another person who knows more than you like these are all viable routes to go um and that's just my that's my thoughts on the subject and this piece is coming out very well because of it <laughs> um there you go that's kind of nice actually ultimately what you need to do is not search for inspiration. Inspiration will find you. Your day-to-day -day is inspiring, despite what you may think, right? Um, you could be working a job that you're miserable with. Um, I did for a long time, and that can inspire you. You can be inspired by how monotonous and awful it is. <laughs> and you can make art about that, you know? Um, you can have a beautiful, life-changing trip or, like, find love or, you know, um, find all these different emotions that, you know, you could be angry at somebody. You could be angry at yourself, um, these are all valid things to explore. There's not one thing to draw. There's not one thing to just kind of start attacking. And, you know, people, you know, may come at you for it, especially if you're being emotional and you're expressing how you feel. People don't like that. I don't know what it is about it, but um, it makes people feel, I don't know, weak. I, I can't, I couldn't tell you. But all I know is that to make good art, you need to express yourself and you need to find inspiration in things that help you express yourself. So... Uh, that's my bit for today. This is the piece I'm making. I'm going to finish it up. And you can check out the finished piece on my Instagram as always. Um, thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are the best. Um, thank you to everybody who watched this. I will be updating my uh, Patreon thank you list because I've had a bunch of new people subscribe. So thank you to all the new subscribers. I'm thinking the next video I will have the new list up. So uh, thanks, everyone. Have a good rest of your day. Uh, stay drawing and you know, stay inspired. Find something that you can find inspiration in today, no matter what it is. Good, bad beautiful, ugly. Um, do it. Do it for yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye.